Hello everyone and welcome back to the finale of Undertale. If you're wondering what, I ha what, um, what happened last episode, it basically dropped me off here at the um, it dropped me off at the capital, and I, I spared you guys a walk all the way over here because yeah, it was a pretty long walk. So let's go ahead and uh, finale it up. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. I love watching people here be like, what? <laughs> Go on! That's usually their reaction here. <laughs> what a miserable creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It's his eye, Torio, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I cannot stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized, I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone to simply let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, you have to suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. You really wanted to free your kind. You could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and free everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do, do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, as for. <laughs> God, I forgot I got a voice act. I forgot I had the voice act done, Diane. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, Asgore, human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, uh, nice to meet you! Hey, Asgore, is that your axe? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, hey, hey nobody hurt each other! <laughs> oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> there, there's two of them. <laughs> hey, nobody fights anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Hey, human. Did I score shave and uh, clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That, vo that voice. Hello, I think we may know each other? Oh, hey, I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. Yeah, the name sounds, and, uh, likewise. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! <laughs> this is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Mm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shingles! I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! Come on, come on Asgore! It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, yeah Asgore! <laughs> I'm totally right about that fish thing. Uh, sometimes you just gotta uh, stop going after the furry bog monster and uh, just, just get to know everybody keep fish. <laughs> It's a, it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Well, you two just smooch already! 
The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? <laughs> uh, Alphys? I know. He's right. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, well, uh, I guess if, if you wanna, then uh, don't hold anything back. But wait, not in front of the human. <laughs> right, uh, sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. We're looking at all the great friends you have made. I think, I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me, uh, Virus, uh, you called everyone here, right? Well, uh, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, uh, I got here before you. Uh, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me. It, a, a tiny f flower? <laughs> You idiots! While you guys are having your little powwow, I took the human souls, and now not only are those under my power, but all your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. Hehehe. <laughs> you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and humans together, I will achieve my real form! <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you will win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. The whole victory in front of you just within your reach. And tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. Yeah. Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you a happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen, you. I'll keep you here no matter what. I can't even move. Even if it means killing you one million times! I'm legitimately worried about the game audio. Because I can't hear anything. So. What? Actually, hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, raise the volume a bit. There you go. Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, 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 human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. These readers got nothing on you. Uh, technically, it's, uh, it's impossible for you to beat him, uh, but, but uh, somehow I, I know he can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. We're with you too, come on, you got this, la la la! You have to win, you can do it, Rubik. <laughs> no, unbelievable! This can't be happening! You... You... <sighs> I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine! I gotta get a drip of water. Much better. I don't know if that showed up on the microphone. I mean, I guess he's gonna have Charlie's voice. Finally! I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy! Bender, are you there? 
Uh, I don't know, Bender, are you there? Oh, no. Grab my. Yep, he's here. It's me, your best friend. It's the end. Yep. Actually, how's my inventory looking? Uh, oh man, a whole bunch of nice creams. Uh, oh, still has a bad memory. That's hilarious. Whatever, I'll just uh, hope. Held on to your hopes. To reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Oh, wow. Oh, crap. I don't know how this is going to come out of the capture either. Shoot. Whatever. Uh, I'm just going to keep hoping. Okay, holding on. I love his attacks because they're like, like, yeah, you see? You can just feel the weight behind every attack. And I don't know how I'm doing this while it's dodging. Holy crap, I only took one hit. That's, that's hilarious. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and waste all my ice creams. An illustration of a hug. Aww. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Basically, you wanna be where the arrows aren't. I know a lot of people make the mistake and they think you wanna be where the, arrow, where the arrows, exclamation points are. An illustration, another illustration of a hug. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Oh, I hate this move. I always get confused. You want to move with him, but then sometimes he doesn't move. And then there's this. How do you even dodge? I dodged it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's hilarious. Kept holding on. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Okay. Yeah, I fought this guy so many times that I just like. I already know how to dodge all his stuff. I, I'm not saying you can do a hitless run because as you can see I got hurt I got hit earlier, but then we can do everything all over again. <laughs> uh this this move. Like I said, I guess I got lucky that first time. And I guess it doesn't help that I can see well I think I'm gonna run I got hit. It, it it definitely helps that I can um see past the stars uh nice from again. You're just great! And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it! Okay, the, the pattern here is like stand still, move, stand still, move, stand still, move! And then move out of the way. <laughs> anyway, I should have enough empty space in my inventory to make it worth it. Yeah, I have enough to make it worth it. A dream. What this does is, um, it gives you, like, it gives you healing items. That's all it does. So if like you don't have any healing items, they'll just fill up your inventory with the they go lose to me again. If I did if I'd done it earlier, I would have only gotten it one since I think I had like one empty space. So I just wasted those so I'd get those better ones. And then you'll lose to me again. God I hate this move. Especially when he goes fast. Cause sometimes he doesn't move and that like throws me off. Like he goes left, right, left, right, and then like not at all. Uh anyway, these are these are the last dreams, so. There's also kind of a joke I want to do later. Um, oh, yeah. Kept holding on. Damage reduced. And again. Move. Don't move. Move. Don't move. Move. Don't move. Move. Don't move. Move. And out of the way. And anyway, yeah, as you can see, he's getting a lot faster. And I keep dodging really well, considering. And again. Oh, I got hit there. But, like, the important thing about this battle is to keep your calm. Because, yeah, a lot of the Let's Players I've seen, because you want a happy ending. A lot of people that see play this game, they're, they're like, you know, they're... They don't keep their calm, and I guess what, I guess it's better for, like, a show, because it's more entertaining to watch, you know? It's more entertaining to watch someone, like, struggle than, like, to watch someone keep their calm, you know? Because you love your friends. Then again, I'm not doing this for the entertainment value, so I'm doing this because it's fun. For, oh, I see what I mean. I'm doing this because it's fun for me to do, not for anyone else. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my skin. Love yourself. I love you because you never give up. I don't know if I'm gonna like use uh, audacity to like distort my voice. Holy crap! He's 
he, he broke the pattern. <laughs> I'm not gonna use Audacity to distort my voice for um, Ezreal. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this for. It's gonna be your downfall. I, I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to do that for that tiny bit with Metaton. But aside from that, I don't know if it's like, if it's worth doing it for this for Azrael's voice. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purchase timeline once and for all. Oh, this attack. Man, this sprite work looks really good. It has like an effect that makes it look 3D-ish. And I, I guess it doesn't matter if you get hit on this part or not. I guess as long as you don't end up in the middle. Even then, I only took one damage. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what your determination is against this. He got fatter. <laughs> oh, okay, he did. No. Yeah, I can't move left and right and like pressing the buttons, nothing. All, all you can do is struggle. Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power! I am terrible at dodging this. Okay, I walked into that one. What? But it refused. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. Yeah, it's because you're not letting me access my inventory. I have enough healing items to tank this for days. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. So he's gonna delete my save file? And I guess I don't know. <laughs> Still? Come on! Show me what your determination is now! I would if you at least let me attack, like I would definitely fight if the game let me. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. Not if I go into the game's files and... No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. At least not right now. But maybe with the little power you have, you can save something else. There it is. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go in order. You reached out to Ezreal's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere. Quick right day. Within the depths of Ezreal's soul, something's resonating. Oh, so it's one at a time. Okay. Um, you know. You asked the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. Oh, humans will die! You're basically refighting all the bosses, but like, I guess, a weaker version of them. You give the lost soul a big smile, like you remember she likes to do. For some reason, she sort of wants to smile back. You're a real enemy! Yeah, I'm just giving up on the undone voice. Now, speaking of the undone voice, my friend was uh, playing Clash. You clashed against the lost soul with all your might. She recognizes your fighting spirit. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Uh, my friend was doing a No Mercy run of this game, and like we were trying to do the undone fight, and she asked for my help, and my friend's help, and he helped because she couldn't do it. It's hilarious. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. See, cause, like the word save is like glowing, so you think you're highlighting it at all times, but you forget it's a little heart icon that does this. See what I mean? Um, anyway. Um, what's going on? Yeah, that's the end of that story. <laughs> like, we were able to do the. They were to do that part with the blocking with the shield really well. Uh, we're gonna nerd out. You asked the lost soul, her favorite cartoonist. She can barely hold back to and give you an enormous answer. Y you hate me, don't you? Oh yeah, the Metaton thingy. Even though you never actually fight Alphys. Oh crap. I, I just, I, I've got to keep lying. I just did. Oh crap, I forgot to get out of the way. I forgot how to fight this. <laughs> uh, I forgot how to fight this one. Can't believe it. Quiz. You have to ask for help on the quiz question. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. Uh, no, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. 
I'm glad that heals me because I don't have to waste a turn. Even that's about to just saw something resonating. You don't actually fight Sen, so in this, like in the game, at least in this route. Actually, Judgment. You told the lost soul you think about what you've done. It seems like it's trying to remember. I must capture a human. Just give up. I did. Oh, this. Th th this throws me off sometimes because, like, I press um, X on the PS2 controller to jump, because, you know, or that's usually where the B button is, Super Nintendo controller. But I forget that it's up. Hmm. Yeah, take a break. You just lost soul to take a break from fighting with you. It seems like he wants to. Then everyone will. Why do you try? Sorry, I gotta, I gotta focus on other than this. See which, that's why I have to focus. Uh, crossword. Until the lost soul, you think the crosswords are tougher than jumble. Suddenly, its memories are floating back. The other lost soul remembers this conversation too. No, wait, you're my friend. Nah, yeah, I'm really pretty kid. I can never capture you. I wonder if I like can edit my voice. I mean, I can, but I wonder if I'm gonna bother editing my voice to like make it so that I talk at the same time. Uh, hug, I guess. You hug the lost soul. Seems like his aggression is slowly melting away. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. And then I remembered why I hate this attack. It's not the worst attack though, um, I, I just hugged it, right? Uh, talk. You tell the lost soul that you're going to save everyone. Something stirs deep within him. No one will leave again. This is my duty. I'm going opposite order just because I want to see, because, um, what I did last time I played this, I went, um, where is it? I was, I only talked to lost soul number one for everyone, so, yeah, I'm going to preference. Actually, I'm going to hug you. With the lost soul and tell her you're gonna be see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Oh, so you gotta do, um. So it's not just three, it's three for one lost soul and like, the other one will follow, I guess. I thought it was just three in general. Alright, mercy you. You refuse to fight the lost soul. Suddenly, the memories are floating back. Oh no, that was just a total of four turns. It frees up to you now. You are the future. Yeah, if you only focus on one lost soul, um. It's gonna. What's he got? Like the other one will just like join automatically too. It'll be like seeing how nice you treated the other one, they'll join. Kind of like you saw with the pirate set. Strangely, as your friend remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. Seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. Oh, I got hit the last second. Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? Oh, I'll tear you apart! Do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? Oh, it's at that point. No. I'm doing this because you're special, Bender. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I, I, I'm doing this because I care about you, Bender. I care about you more than anyone else. I should have named my character Bender. Damn it. I should look at other figures I have. Nah, whatever. I'm, I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. 
I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So, please, stop doing this! I just let me win! Yeah, no, and I'm sorry, I'm like that voice. I'm trying my best to like cry, but I can only do like a... Like, I, I can't do this type of crying. Stop it! Stop it now! Bender. Like, I, I can only do like sad crying, not like passionate crying, so... Or like fake tears, I mean. I'm so alone, Bender. I'm so afraid, Bender. Bender, I... I'm so sorry. I was a crybaby, wasn't I, Bender? I, I know. You're not actually Bender, are you? Bender's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's... That's a nice name. Frisk. I, I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I like the power to love other people. However, with, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monsters as well. They all care about each other so much, and uh, they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alpes, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. Haha. <laughs> uh, Frisk, guy. I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. What? what? Chris, come on. You're, you're, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, you can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They are burning with the same desire, with everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. I'm gonna shoot the recordings at 28 minutes now. 28, 30. Seven human souls are needed to break the barrier. Six. We have six human souls. We just need one more human soul. It takes about the power of every soul living underground to equal the power of one human soul. One plus six equals seven. The barrier has been shattered. Just, just explaining that because, believe it or not, there are still people that don't get like why this works. It's like, but they only have six human souls. No, they had enough power for it because they had all the monster souls combined as one, which equals one human soul. Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this one. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best that you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Well, of course. <sighs> I don't want to let go. Yeah, neither do I, kid. I don't want to let go of this controller. <laughs> It'll fall. First. You're, you're gonna do a great job, okay? No matter what you do. Excuse me. Oh, that was a burp. No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Way to go, burp. You ruined this moment. Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. You know, way to go, burp, super burp. 
By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Frisk, this is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking. I'm kidding. That's from the uh, neutral route with like with uh, I don't know if it's Omega Flower or Photoshop Flower. Is yeah, is different names. Please wake up. Ah, the file size is gonna be huge. Oh, you are awake. Thank goodness. That well, we were so worried. <laughs> Felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer, and now we're freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just uh, cut something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! No, no. The important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk, why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give him space first? He must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I am not certain. First, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems like the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. I will go ahead and talk to everyone next time. I know I said this is going to be the finale, but you know, the file size is like 30 minutes and credits and rendering times and you know, all that jazz. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the episode here. So uh, bye everyone and take care for the real finale. <laughs> bye. Even though there's like nothing else to do except for talk to people. So that's what I'm going to do. Just one last bit of voice acting and then credits and opinions on the game. I already, I already saved it. So okay, bye everyone.